Dokey. Dokey. I'm all, always filling with this silly, silly thing before I start filming. Um, I'm getting all comfortable in my easy chair and just, and uh, I just thought I'd wish all my friends on Facebook and all my friends on YouTube a very happy Easter. It's 12 o'clock in the morning, and in, in my case, 12 o'clock at night because I don't go to bed till wee hours in the morning. Uh, especially this Easter, just chilling out, and it's been, it's been, it's gonna be a good Easter. I, when I was a kid, what we would do on Easter, and I'm sure all, all the kids, the, this next this generation does the same thing. But what we would do is we'd wake up real early in the morning, sort of like the Christmas thing. We had three, I had three, we had three kid, kids in our family. My oldest brother is seven years old, his name is Jimmy. My middle brother is John, his, uh, he's five years older than I am. Me, I was the youngest kid, and I'm the, uh, I'm 40 years, I'm almost 40 now. Uh, and uh, we'd wake up real early in the morning. We had the three baskets on them. We had a big fireplace in, in the house when we were young. I mean, this fireplace was huge. And we, the, our parents would set the, the uh, Easter baskets on the fireplace. I mean, big, huge Easter baskets, and it have that, that, that sparkling grass stuff in it. And they'd have, and they'd put an Easter bunny, chocolate Easter bunny in, in it. And uh, and we'd have those eggs that you crack or that you punch open or split apart. And we'd have small candy in that. And, and jelly beans and you know all that all those fancy knickknacks the kids get during Easter and uh, we had and then later on that that morning we would mom and dad would hide all the eggs you know these weren't the plastic eggs these were the uh, the uh, hard-boiled stick them in and dyed water type thing and, uh, and then we'd go, and they'd have us hunt all around the house for them, you know, under the couch. They'd put a lot of them, you know, in the same places they did the year before us. So, so we we pretty much know exactly where they. Well, my brothers did. I was too I was too young to kind of figure that out until I got a little older. And then by the time I got too old, it was I was too old to go Easter egg hunting. But my parents would always play the. They wouldn't do this with my brothers because my brothers were always keen and savvy, and they didn't know where all the legs were, eggs were. But me, I had a little trouble since I was the youngest one, five, six years old. I'd have a little bit harder time trying to find the eggs. So they'd play the. <laughs> they'd play the. You're getting warmer. You're getting colder. Oh, you're getting hot. You're getting hot, son. Jason, you're getting hot. Uh, and then, then you'd find an egg up in the, the you know, the plant or whatever, or on a table, or. And then if, if, <laughs> if we forgot about one egg, sooner or later the next year we'd probably find it eventually under the couch or something because <laughs> sometimes my mom and dad would, we did that once, we uh. There was an egg that, that, that my parents hid a long time ago, but they never, we never did find it. I think it was under a couch or something. And, and we eventually found it too, a year later or something. And uh, that was kind of funny. But uh, anyway, I just thought I'd say that to you friends and, any, and those new people that are watching this now, and uh, to have a very uh, awesome, great 
Easter Sunday. It's already Easter Sunday now because I'm making this video after 12 o'clock in the morning. And we ce I celebrate Easter not because of the Easter Bunny, but for God, for Jesus coming down on this earth back in 33 AD and dying on the cross for our sins. And I am not ashamed to say it. I am a Christian and I believe in that. And uh, it's a beautiful story. And, uh, and you know, before God died on the cross for our sins, people had to sacrifice animals. And boy, that, that would become a bummer having to go out and and you, you catch your catch your bait and well, for instance a sheep or a calf or something and then you have to sacrifice it and every time you sacrifice something like that, you know your sins are forgiven. That's just the way it says it that's just the way it goes in the Bible, in the Old Testament. And the New Testament talks about anyway. And I hope y'all have a wonderful Easter and uh, have a great day tomorrow or this this afternoon because this is in the morning. And uh, that's about all. Y'all take care, okay?